What's up guys? I am Robert Jensi Landero and today I'm going to show you on how we can predict weather through the use of wave prognostic charts. So basically, what is a wave prognostic chart? A wave prognostic chart is a type of a prognostic chart that deals of predicting weather through a specific future time. So that is also the meaning of a prognostic chart. But by wave prognostic chart, we are determining the wave heights in order for us mariners to know if we are going to continue our voyage. So basically, this is my first time that I'll be making a vlog. So welcome to my channel and maybe I'll be speaking Taglish because it's very formal if I'm going to speak English. So, magsasalita po ako ng konting Tagalog. Gagawa po tayo ng ano, ng uh, weather prediction. Tulad po na napanood natin sa sa TV Patrol, 24 oras, ganun. Magaganon po tayo. By the use of wave prognostic chart. Madali lang naman po siya basahin kasi mag determine lang po tayo ng mga symbols and to the Buford scale. In scale to know the force. So, let's start. And I'm back. Actually, it took me time in wearing this uniform because it is needed for us to wear a uniform for the sake of the vlog competition. So, brief history lang sa pagsali ko dito. Uh, I was invited by my dear professor, Mr. Kahura. Actually, they've said that I have no other choice but to join. But, ayun nga, it's a privilege that I was invited because hindi lang naman ako mag benefit dito. May mga nunood, so they'll learn something from weather forecasting na, ah, ganun pala yun. Ah, ganun pala magbasa. May different kinds of charts pala. Ganun. So, my plan is, I'll be making some few instructions. I'll be making some images right there. And then, from the next few minutes, we will make a weather forecasting, like what we see on the news. So, this will be the basic guidelines. Guidelines? <laughs> the basic guidelines. And uh, first, we have the arrow. So, what is an arrow for? The arrow is used to measure the wind direction and the speed of the wind. Next one is the Buford scale. So the Buford scale is used in determining the wave heights, in determining the force on the wind, on the area, on how forceful a pressure is. Next one, we have the color of the area and the color scale. It is the indication for the Buford scale. So pag sinabing, ah, ito light blue, ito white, calm lang to. Pag light blue, light air. Pag dark blue, um, light breeze, ganon. Ganun yung descriptions niya. And with uh, high and with wave heights, with air, with speeds, yun. So, ito na nga. Gagawin na natin ang ating weather forecasting. So, I'll see you. And this is our weather forecast for today. So basically, we are going to cover the portion of the South China Sea, which is, consists of the Philippines, Cambodia, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Hainan, and Hanoi, China. So basically, our weather forecast will be covering from October 1 to October 8. By this October 1, we will be having a light force description of calm to light air and from light air to light air. It will last until October 4. And by October 5, from the portion of Hong Kong, Taiwan, and northern portion of the Philippines, we will be experiencing from gentle breeze to moderate breeze of forced description. Now, for the wind speed, from October 1 to October 6 will be from 10 to 20 knots, transforming to 25 to 30 knots, starting from October 5 to October 8. Now, for the wave height, expect from October 1 to 4, the 0 0.25 feet to 3 feet. Now from October 5 to October 8, expect 3 feet to 5 feet of wave heights. Still, there are expected rainstorms and thunderstorms or rain showers. But 
disregarded because this is for the maritime voyage for seafarers. So it is very recommendable to continue our voyage with this kind of wave heights. But still, we must still prepare our safety and risk assessments in order for a safety navigation. Now, before I end this, always remember, safety should always be our priority. That will be all. I am Robert John Cilandero, your weather forecaster for today. Back to you.